Hello, welcome back. Uh, in this session, we'll focus on uh, building an organization structure that uh, will support uh, warehouse uh, related transactions. Uh, so if you if you remember the in Oracle EBS, uh, the topmost hierarchy in the organization structure is the business group, where the uh, you define the business group. Most of the time you will have only one business group where you implement. Under the same, under one business group, you can have multiple legal entities. Primarily, if they, if if they are different line of business, they will have multiple legal entities. In a smaller organization, there is a very small organization that will have only one legal entity under one business group. Uh, under the legal entity, you have uh, uh, operation, operating unit. I think this is uh, incorrectly. This is called operating unit. So, under one legal entity, you will have operating unit. Operating units are basically also uh, you can divide by different uh, operations that uh, one legal entity is involved in. So, one legal entity in, in this example, we are taking Flipkart services, they can be in e commerce, they can also be into mobile telecom and also they provide the telecom infrastructure so there can be multiple operations of the business linked to one legal entity typically the the head of that operations like ceo cfo they are all under the under the under the operating unit they can also be on the legal entity it depends upon the how the structure is but the idea is an operating unit linked to the profit and loss and the balance sheet owners so for example if you talk about profit and loss and balance sheet that means we are talking about the order management module the account receivables purchase order module account payables fixed asset all of these are operating unit specific responsibility that means they constitutes the pnl and balance sheet so this this will really help understand why some modules are at different levels Right. Legal entity is a financial consolidation, so it's a, it's a map to general ledger. Next to the hierarchy is the inventory organization. This is where the warehouse is part of, uh, warehouse is lying. So warehouse management is under the inventory organization level. If you want to compare. Along with that, you have other modules like inventory module, bomb, web quality, assurance module. They are all lying at the inventory org level. So this is where when you define a new organization, this is where you define the new warehouse. After that, these are the some of the basic things, the sub inventories. You have to define all your physical locations where material can be kept. There can be various design principle for defining those sub inventories. One of the parameter or one of the design principle is the temperature. So you can have cooler, freezer, refrigerator, or normal kind of thing. Right? It can be also based on the form. If it is, a, let's say, some of the warehouse where uh, sub inventory will be each case, bulk, bag, pallet. You can define sub inventories like this. Uh, it can also be based on the operations, like what you do over the years. So well, let's say you're receiving something. So there's a temporary area, so you can so all them RCV. And while you ship, you have a staging lanes there. So you can define look sub inventory along with the operation as well. How much time does it spend? So long term storage and short term storage. Short term storage is uh, these two examples will lie there. Just add this here. Uh, long term storage, uh, you can say bulk case, right? If you take for a cooler, like these are the area which uh, having a long term storage of the material. And also you can define by the type. So sub inventory has two types, receiving and storage. So you can also define sub inventory by type. Um, and there are some other, you know, recently I came across, uh, there is a category so if you have a category then you define the category based uh, uh, sub inventory as well so i'll say i'll create a sub inventory called mobile phones i create a sub inventory called network equipment so recently i was part of the project where they were having this kind of segregation and they defined their sub inventory along with the category of the item the major categories 
so so these are the various uh, scenarios that can help you understand how to define sub inventories next and the last one is the lowermost in this hierarchy is the locator uh, locators are primarily like three segment structure there are parent child relationship so you can say uh, like three of them is very popular row rack bin combinations so you can define r1 row 1 and then rack 1 bin 1 right and so on and so forth similarly you can also follow aisle bay bin concept or you can follow aisle shelf bin so there are different naming convention but uh, more or less they all represent the three dimensional structure of a warehouse to store material so you can uh, locator is a key flex field uh, sub inventory is uh, not a key flex field warehouse organization is not a key flex field so just keep that in mind so now looking at this uh, organization structure as we already understood that we when you define a new warehouse you are at the level of uh, inventory organization and underneath below you have to define sub inventory locator you also have to map your warehouse to which operating unit which legal entity and which business group that you'll do it and then the structure will be ready to go to the next level so this is the basic organization structure which typically any oracle implementation project will follow we will now focus on the warehouse management so we'll jump into the wms piece and we'll start from here define a new warehouse in the system so let's let's try and go to the application okay so i'm back into warehouse manager here i have to go to the setup screen so warehouse configuration this is where we are going to define warehouse so under the warehouse you have to define that warehouse warehouse parameters locations calendar then sub inventory then locators and there are some ad additional mapping is also required that will do like dog door to the staging lane mapping so we'll have to complete this five step we'll start one by one and we and we go through the setups in a sequence so that's all for now in this video next video we will we will have this location setups to begin with